reasons, I guess, why I'm doing Texas 4000. One being, like, obviously, you know, the amazing, amazing cause, the amazing uh, purpose of the trip in general, and uh, the amazing teamwork. All these people that I've met are just absolutely incredible. Um, everybody has their own personality, and, you know, it's funny. It's funny how everybody is, uh, is real different, but at the same time, it seems like we all have that one one thing in common. Uh, you know, that's what it is. It's a bunch of young students, like, standing up and actually doing something and making something happen, uh, you know, for, for a really important, important deal. And uh, the second reason would be uh, recognition. And by that, I don't mean at all, you know, recognition, you know, for for me in front of my friends or family or anything. I mean like self recognition like inside myself. I think it's I think it's kinda cool to you know, I think it's important to get out there and live life, you know, and actually do something and you know, it's almost like pinching yourself to make sure you're not sleeping, you know? <laughs> and uh, you know, something like this is incredible. You know, you're really pushing yourself mentally, physically and uh, you know, then of course at the same time it's an amazing cause. It's really nothing, nothing beating it. It was, it was really hard organizing everything initially with everything else that was going on because I was finishing up my final semester uh, in mechanical engineering. I mean, there's just, like big final senior design projects, and, you know, a lot of that stuff going on. A lot of, uh, you know, and then at the same time, you want to like hang out with your buddies before everybody goes their separate ways. You know, it's kind of crazy ending up college these people that have become your best friends over the last four years, you know, you're all going to different cities, even around the world, some people, so, you know, you're trying to balance that between school, between uh, Texas 4000, and I think that was, that was really tough, and there were definitely some sacrifices that, you know, that were made here and there. Physically, it's been, it's been tough, but it's, it's one of those things that you, you just have to mentally be, like, ready for. I think the biggest change that I noticed is, uh, you know, being like a young, young like adult, young college student, I'm, I'm always living this life where I'm always moving, like always doing something, going to the next class, going to the next, you know, lecture, going, you know, going to the next like party with the friends or, you know, doing the next thing. And this, you're on your bike for, I don't know how long, eight hours a day, you know, like sometimes. And some of these guys are real knowledgeable and and bike equipment and me myself like I had a problem the other day with uh, my tire tire getting uh, unaligned with the spokes kind of loosening loosening up and uh, Ivan helped me out you know tightening those up with uh, I guess one of the little machines whatever you call it but um, you know everybody brings something to the table a lot of people and he, he has a great idea for like space knowledge you know for being able to pack the trailer like real tight Cause there's a lot of stuff we need to fit in there and you know keeping it organized can be uh can be hell but uh you know he's pretty good at that and then you know mike's incredibly knowledgeable with bikes and a lot of those guys are you know julio uh and they're real strong bikers too so they can really set the pace and, and go ahead go ahead of the group and, and make sure the roads are good ahead I guess like initially when I when I signed up for it I didn't really know what to expect I didn't know anybody I was like the only you know I didn't have any other friends that were in it with me or anything um, you know everybody else kind of started off everybody kind of starts off a little quiet a little shy but I think you know after training camp I think start like stuff started to really pick up people started to really click with the, each other and really figure out uh, you know each other's personalities and start to bond that way in value with how much uh, and how much I see it actually affects the community and affects others and that's because you know we're actually doing the ride now we're actually seeing some of our hosts and even you know stopping at Sonic or something and getting like 20 burgers you know from that uh, you know they're real appreciative of what we're doing and people that we meet in Sonic you know just sitting down and eating ask us what we're doing and talk to them about it and you know everybody seems real appreciative of it and, uh, they always thank us a lot for it, and it's just it's just cool to see you know how people are uh, are real grateful for what we're doing. Uh man, I, I eat I eat anything and everything, <laughs> and it's kind of interesting. You have like somewhat meals, you know, you have breakfast in the morning, lunch, dinner, but 
I mean, I'm, I'm finding myself eating a full meal in between breakfast and lunch, in between lunch and dinner, and even like late at night. And uh, heck, I'm driving the van today and I've been eating power bars and accelerate just because I'm so used to it. I'm not even biking. <laughs> I do. I've got, I've gotten to enjoy it, which is good because I'm gonna have to enjoy it for about 65 more days here. That Sierra group. Uh, oh, the amateurs. <laughs> I mean, they're they're great guys. There's nothing wrong with them at all. But uh, man, I love the Rockies group. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs>